elections in 2013 and in 2017 and is going to win the 2022, God willing. That is our statement that we wanted to share with you. You see, this is a problem with Kenyans. They don't respect the work of other people. A committee of eminent persons was put in place, chaired by Dr. Norway Kesa, and they are doing their work. They have not yet reported back. They have a deadline of uh, 10th of uh, May, I think which is Tuesday next week. I don't know what these speculations is all about. Is all about. So in my, my, my plea is let's give the committee time. Those are serious Kenyans. Those are eminent persons. Those are people who have led, uh, you know, Kenyans in other sectors of the country. Some of them are archbishops. Some of them are bishops. Some of them are sheikhs. Some of them are senior politicians. Let's give them time to do their work. This, and when they finish, they will share with Kenyans what their result is. I think, uh, Muridi, don't, don't force your thoughts on us. Those are your thoughts. But as far as we are concerned, as the Secretary General of the Zimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition, I know that our party leader and our presidential candidate, in consultation with the Azimio Council, has formed a panel of eminent persons consisting of seven people. How they will do their work is up to them. Who will appear before them and who will not appear before them is up to them. My view is, let's give them time to deliver their report. We can only be put into motion after they present their report. Before that, we will be speculating and we will be anticipating debate, which is not good. You see, that is, uh, I can't speak for anybody else. I can only speak as Secretary General of, uh, of Gazimio La Umoja One Kenya. I can't speak even for the chairman of that committee, leave alone anybody else. The, the committee will speak, for the, they will speak for themselves, and they will share with Kenyans what they think is right and what they think is wrong. A Secretary General is a very important person, and uh, even when it comes to a problem, it's difficult to explain it. Probably it's going to help and stem that issue as well. Probably an assurance in regards to this process and the fears that are there by Senator as far as I'm concerned, as Secretary General, everything is going on smoothly now. I have not seen any fallout anywhere, unless you have, it is within your imaginations. So when there is a fallout, we, we, have a, how, we know how to deal with it. But as of now, there is no fallout. The committee has not reported anything. We are waiting for them to conclude their work and report back to the presidential candidate, Honorable Raila Molodinga. As far as as far as we are concerned, and as far as the Zimio La Umoja One Kenya, there is no agreed position as of now on zoning. There is no agreed position. What you are seeing is just speculation and media speculation majorly. We, there is no position agreed on zoning, but we have mechanisms to deal with those issues we will deal with them in accordance with the organs that are within the party. But also of now, every candidate within who is vying on any party that's affiliated to the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance is allowed to campaign and, f and the parties are allowed to fill their candidates anywhere, everywhere. Except in exceptional cases like Nairobi, where ODM and Jubilee had agreed on how to share positions within uh, Nairobi from the MCA position to members of parliament to senators to governors uh, only that is the 
the only zoning that I'm aware of, of now. But if there is any other agreement within the coalition, we will, we will share with you people. But of, as of now, everyone is allowed to contest and every party has the right to field any candidate of theirs anywhere in the Republic of Kenya. Yeah, those are the things I am saying. If there is necessity, and it will, it will be on a mutual agreement, it will not be forced on any party. If parties sit down and agree to use opinion poll and other means to see which candidate among which, which party, I mean among the political parties that are affiliated to, to Azimio, which candidate is stronger than the other, those are internal mechanisms. But the general principle is every party is entitled to have their own candidate. That's the general principle. But internally, as a family, we can sit as a Zimio and see if one or if a Mungano candidate is stronger or Waipa candidate is stronger or ODM, we can give it's a give and take. That is an internal mechanism. But the general principle is every party has a right to field a candidate anywhere in the country. I think as far as I'm concerned, the parties are addressing that issue. I am sure in the next two days they will send back a list to IEBC that is gender compliant. They are, they are addressing that matter and they will get, they, they will reserve certain seats for women and they will comply with the gender requirement of the IEBC. No, not really, not really. They, they will look for a way to negotiate and make sure that they are their, 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 their list is gender compliant. Because these are the issues we wanted to address in the BBI. When we brought the BBI, we wanted to address this issue of the gender balance, imbalance in the country. But people didn't see it. Now some of the parties that have suffered are some of the parties that are opposing BBI. And I'm sure now they're going to pick certain candidates from, of, any, of either gender from constituents and patch them on that list. But this is the issue that we wanted to address as BBI. So that for once, women get their space in, in leadership. That's what we wanted to address. Thank you very much. Yeah, they can say something. Mojma, Karim. Okay. This is Michael Gumo. Okay, good afternoon. I am Michael Gumo, the Westlands candidate for ODM. And um, first of all, I want to thank you for coming to this press conference. I, uh, we have agreed as uh, as Mio, La Umoja One Kenya. Um, it was a difficult process Westlands as a young candidate. I'm a, I, fall, I fall under youth, the youth bracket as well, but uh, these are my elders here. Moshimiwa team is my elder. I've been around Westlands with him for a while. And uh, you all of you know Moshimiwa Junet Muhammad, and we're all one family under Azimio. Our aim is to get the presidency, Raila Odinga, as our next president of Kenya. So this was not an in fight, it was just a matter of clarification. So you've heard from uh, our director of elections, and uh, that matter is solved. So uh, for now, for today, that's all I can say, and the rest we will we'll know as we go on. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You want to say something? Please say, Michael. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, you remember what Krikla told us. Krikla told us we should not allow courts to manage our democracy. And the parties have mechanism to manage this, this uh, process. And what we have witnessed here is the mechanism laid down in the political parties uh, you know, act and also what the political parties like ODM can manage to settle disputes that are, arise from the, you know, the process of election. And this has been done very amicably, and uh, all of us are happy. We know very well that this ODM is uh, the strongest party in Nairobi, and we must maintain our position. And uh, having uh, come to this agreement, I think we are ready to go. As Timu Anyonyi, 
and uh, all my colleagues, those who ran in Westlands, uh, Mike Kumo here, there are others who are who not here, but we have all agreed that we are going to support one position for the party to win and also for the coalition to win. So I think this agreement is very, very necessary and I want to thank the party, our party leader, uh, our director of election here, uh, Meshmiwa uh, Junet, and uh, Mike who is here with me, and the other team that have spoken to most of them. We have taken one common stand, that Westlands will be the candidate and they will all rally behind me so that we don't lose this position. Thank you.